elementary school might be the best because you play with basically everyone on the playground and your friendships revolve around having fun and toys. High school hits us with the clicks, but that's okay too since we could find a niche we fit into and make some more intimate friendships. Then college comes and those are the glory days of meeting a variety of new people who can easily become some of your closest friends for life. After college though, everyone seems separate as jobs, families, and moving pulls your social group in different direction. Suddenly there doesn't seem to be enough people to hang out with and I've experienced that. But don't worry, this is just a mirage if you're worried about after college life. Then I got you. Here's 10 ways on how to make friends after college, but of course this will work best if you're not in a lockdown zone. Number 1. Put your best foot forward. Before you go putting up ads on Craigslist for friends, there is an easy step you should do first. In all things you do, do so with a positive attitude. This is the first step to attract other like-minded people into your life. If you aren't in a good mindset before making friends, the friends you make later will reflect your sour mentality. So get your attitude right first. Number 2. Get to know your coworkers. After college, you will probably be forced to work in order to live. It's a disappointing realization, but we all have to do it at one point. Since you're there, make the most of it and get to know your coworkers. Get to work 5 minutes earlier and make small talk with the receptionist or go to the water cooler when you see another colleague there and ask them about their weekend or comment on the family photo that your coworker has up. You never know who you might end up getting along with. Number 3. Do volunteer work In happy healthy times to times of quarantine, there are always opportunities to volunteer. Find an area that appeals to you and help out a little in your local community. You will meet other people who are helpful and passionate which are two great qualities for any friend to have. Plus, you'll feel a sense of fulfillment as a bonus. Number 4. Expand your networking into friend working. College has definitely given us a workshop or two about how to network and pages like LinkedIn are great for keeping those contacts. One loophole is that your professional contact may also double as a friend. This is not for every professional contact you have though. Do not ask your 60 year old ex boss if he wants to attend a chillin weekend with your homies, but you can turn a mentorship or a networking event contact into a friend for a coffee or the occasional drink. I'm talking about boba. This way you can both see if you have similar interests. Take it slow and easy on this one though. Number 5. Go to fun events. These typically include festivals, concerts, exhibitions, parades, and holiday parties. Now, if you find yourself in a lockdown of some sort and can't socialize in person, you'd be surprised at the number of events that go virtual. It may not be exactly the same as going out in person, but you can always try it out and see how it goes. Plus, you have the big bonus of just shutting off your screen if you feel like leaving. It's the perfect Irish goodbye. Number 6. Join a physical activity or club. Oftentimes, even in moments of lockdown, we are able to escape to enjoy the great outdoors. Finding physical activity or group that you can join. Social distancing is necessary. This could be on Facebook groups or even meetup.com. Do a sport, yoga, hiking, or other things that you like so you'll know that other people have the similar interests in mind too. Meeting people while having your endorphins pumping will make for some great friends. Number 7. Check in with old connections. Those friends you had in high school and college didn't disappear, they are simply elsewhere. Nowadays, we are lucky to have phones and laptops to connect us no matter the time or distance. Reach out to old friends or contacts you've lost touch with and re-spark the friendship. Number 8. Reach out to others on social media. I'm sure you even have a few people you never got the chance to befriend, but you are still friendly acquaintances with each other. You know the people you would happily say hi to if you ran into them at the supermarket. You can use social media to connect with them for potential friendships. Comment on their pig or story to start a conversation and go from there. It's as easy as saying, we should hang out sometimes and catch up. Number 9. Find socializing apps. This is by far the easiest and most helpful way to make friends after college. There are apps where other post-college adults get to make friends, like for instance Bumble BFF. It's not only for dating you know, but low key it doesn't hurt if you decide to switch it to dating mode, I'm just saying. Not even sponsored by them, but whatever. 
You are definitely not alone and everyone else like you can be found a click away. And number 10, put in effort. When you start to speak to people, whether new or old, it's important to put in your 100%. Remember that no new friendship is worth the trouble if you don't have time to maintain it. So water that friendship seed and take care of it in order to watch them bloom. So whether you're stuck inside or stuck in a rut, there are always different options available to make friends, even after college. We live in the technology age where new contacts are literally at your fingertips. While I encourage face-to-face -face interaction, do it when it's safe to do so. A little effort on your part will go a long way. Put yourself out there and see all the friends you're sure to find. And when you do find one, do let me know. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more weekly uploads. And as always, thanks for watching.